Well, uh, we certainly uh, believe uh, that increasing the threshold to the $1.5 million amount in terms of payroll cost, uh, w w wherein the EHT would be applicable, is, is a good move. That is definitely worthy of, of putting in place. Uh, we also suggested among uh, over 60 items, uh, we suggested to the John Horgan NDP government uh, that, they, um, uh, that they put in place a tax holiday for the EHT and, and actually a range of other taxes uh, in British Columbia. Uh, the, uh, the, the government has opted not to do that, rather deferring uh, the EHT and, and hydro uh, fees and a few other taxes. Uh, deferral means that those taxes are, are still going to have to be paid at some point, and in some cases with interest. Uh, if businesses weren't able to pay uh, those fees uh, months ago and they've suffered uh, very significant declines in revenue, which we know is the case for many of them, there is no possible way that small businesses are going to be able to, to step up and, uh, and pay uh, the, these, uh, these taxes owing. So it's very, very important that government look at, at how can we best help uh, businesses cover those costs. And that's one of the reasons that we've, we've uh, we suggested that 90-day tax holiday for the EHT. Uh, it's, it's also why we, uh, we're, we, we put on the table a, a loan guarantee program for, for uh, tourism and hospitality uh, businesses that have been really hard hit. And it's also why uh, we have uh, uh, decided to, to propose the elimination of the PST for one year and then a reinstatement of the PST at 3% until British Columbia's economy uh, recovers. That's good for individuals, it's good for families, and it's also very good for small businesses.